Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how I made this vintage fairy photo frame for this cute baby. I took two old cardboard covers and used one as the base. In the second piece, I measured the sides of the frame and cut the middle part in rectangle shape. I have already attached strips of cardboard layers on three sides of this frame which we will glue to the base later and from the fourth side we will slide in the photo. We will use the scrap pages for adding texture to the project. I have already dyed them with tea and coffee to give them vintage look. We will use tea and coffee for coloring our project also. Some old brush and some tissue paper also we will need for this project. And also gesso as we are doing some mixed media work here. This is a homemade gesso and I have already used a lot of it. This is going to be a very long video so please sit back, relax and enjoy it. So first here I am using gesso as glue because uh, it also acts as a glue uh, to attach the scraps of the pages to create texture. As you can see, I am using the pages and uh, scrunching them to create uh, you know, uneven surface for the texture. I am also using tissue paper. Tissue paper is a very beautiful uh, way to create texture in your project. Many crafters use it. This is very thin paper as it looks but once it dries, it dries out very hard and after coloring also and if you bring the texture more uh, by dry gessoing, uh, it gives really beautiful look to the project. Actually, I am doing this project for this baby Naisha. Uh, it's her birthday today and uh, actually I have recorded this video a long time ago but did not get the chance to post it but you know what happens everything happens for good actually so uh, today I get to post this video for her birthday. Once it dries completely, uh, it's time to color it. I'm using here coffee, tea and some acrylic pink color to color the project. Since it, since it has dried out completely, so I'm going to spray some water over it to loosen the texture and loosen the project here and uh, so that the color flows more easily if it doesn't flow you can add more water or spray some water as I am doing here this is what gesso do gesso is a primer it it creates a, a barrier between the base and uh, the upper layer so when you color uh, it flows it uh, uh, the color flows to it it uh, soaks the color but it doesn't penetrates to the base so uh, it's good for uh, if 
the color is too much if you feel that uh, there is too much color in your project you don't like it you can actually remove it wh while it is still wet and uh, you can add more color later if you think that you have removed too much color then you can recolor it here i am using coffee you can see this uh, what i i was saying about the gesso and tissue uh, this color flows so beautifully i really love this process of coloring it goes to the nooks and crannies of the texture and brings out this uh, beauty of the project more i really love it here you can see more of this flowing of color I took some of that pink acrylic color and I'm going to add some water, tea or coffee to it and also this uh, green acrylic color to it. Uh, it gives this really beautiful reddish orange tinge color, you know, it looks more vintagey also. Since I'm going for a vintage fairy look, this color matches to the project really well As you can see it's dried completely and I know you will say that everything is colored with tea and <laughs> we will work on that later but first I'm going to attach it to the base uh, only three sides because from the fourth side we will slide in the photo um, I'm using this cloth pins here to help the glue to attach more strongly now we are going to use this process called dry gessoing uh, it's a process where we use a dry brush and take a little bit of gesso and brush lightly over the texture of the project it brings out more texture, more um, beauty to the project and also since you have seen here it's too much color, there is no difference so we can add more white spaces to it wherever you want. So all in all, gesso is your savior. You will see what I mean once it's completely done.
there he goes he always so curious about what i am doing and whenever i am doing craft he will come and sit there and won't let me work for a long time until i play with him or give him treats and there he goes again really sorry for this failed attempt i was trying really to create a beautiful entrance but it didn't work but let me show you this flowers they are handmade paper flowers uh, i have used different types of pages uh, you know different shape and different uh, thickness of papers to make them and different layers of pages and i have uh, also made this frame thingy frame branch thingy actually uh, as i am going for a fairy themed project here so i think you know more natural more nature related things like branch and flowers will go with the project so i made this with paper and all these elements are primed these are quilled primed elements which i have already colored uh, which i am going to use in this project and here i am trying to see where to put them where they will go perfectly with the project so now this whole part is about um, about your um, making your heart happy making yourself happy uh, this is a cute little bunny that i made it's a quilled bunny and uh, also this fairy this is cut out of cardboard tinkerbell actually and uh, this is quilled wings which i'm going to attach with glue like this and put them here in the project somewhere and this is a quilt butterfly quilt and primed and i have already colored it which i am going to use it here somewhere yeah once i have attached few of the elements i'm using the dry gesso technique again to bring more texture and more light to the project i feel it was a bit dark since the base is already of the same color so i was trying to bring more light or brightness to the uh, elements so i was saying that uh, using this elements and this is completely a process that makes you happy uh, put all the elements together check where it's where it goes well or uh, how you feel about it like this bunny i am not sure we will see later and this flowers also uh, it's about where to put them uh, and i want to show you this flowers you know uh, different shape size and texture i really love them different layers i have used many layers somewhere this middle bird here it's paper while in some here it i have used you know a uh, dried um tea leaves you can say or the tea dried tea uh, i have used in the middle bird and here i have a little helper with me my brother <laughs> he was interested enough to show me or actually guide me with the arrangement of the flowers <laughs> so here is the process i am just going to check where to uh, place the flowers and once i feel that it's uh, looks good or it's i'm happy with the arrangements and uh, i'm going to just glue them together 
and uh, yeah that's it and uh, last will be to slide in the photo so i think this is it you will see the final project or final result uh, a few minutes later uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for supporting me if you really like this video please give a thumbs up and uh, please check out description below for more videos and thank you so much i will try to make more videos and be consistent in the future okay so see you soon and happy birthday naisha bye bye